Welcome to Nevermind the Furthermore. Wait a minute. This this music isn't right. The scene isn't right. Hang on. That's more like it. And now it's time for the show for all creatives. Never mind the furthermore. Your source for conversation, inspiration, and fun. With your host, Nicholas Anthony Tockert. He's an artist, a writer, a swordsman, and a game designer. He knows how to use the sword and axe in historical battles without anybody getting hurt too much. He's also a law manatee man, master of marketing. And he may even have a guest or two. One thing though to be certain, just don't call him a cryptid. With that, it's about time for the show. So sit back, enjoy, and have some coffee and chat with us. Hello. There we go. Chaos confirmed. Woo. Good morning, Nevermoreans. I'm your host with the most, Mr. Nicholas Anthony Tucker, coming at you over the airways on WNTF. Never mind the furthermore. Bam. Folks, never mind the furthermore is brought to you with the generous support of our good friends over at NDCD. Yes, the Independent Creator Directory, your one-stop shop for the best of the brightest authors, artists, musicians, creatives of all type, stripe, and flavor. Now, um, if you want to join up and become a member of that most esteemed organization, feel free to do so via the link that I am showing you. It will help kick a little back, back to yours truly and keep the show going. Want to remind everyone, we are also made possible by the sales of a lot of things, but I'm going to highlight my lovely wife's book, Koi Wolf, a twisted tale of family abuse and kidnapping and the best food in New Orleans and lycanthropy run amok. Amok, amok, amok. Now, quick note. Yes, I was slightly late sliding into the door and you probably heard chaos. There was a Nerf gun slide in the hallway. These things happen. Or one has sufficient, possibly, um, levels of Nerf weaponry available. Now, we are also made possible da, 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 by Haints and Hellfire, my uh, my newest published uh, horror novel set in the Appalachians, where two reporters get on opposite sides of a paranormal conflict and friends it gets good so read this enjoy it preserve it buy it for yourself for your friends buy, buy it for your friends friends and if your friends friends or yourself are inclined towards weaponry may I cite the simple sword the fighting axe and the simple spear all part of my ongoing yes ongoing series of western martial arts manuals designed to help you go from Noob to Swordmaster. Yes, folks, because we are making that happen. Also, oh, I do... See, I can't have all my books to promote here. I do have my game Melee. My uh, game Big Stompy Robots, that I would normally hold the book up, is in the living room because I am working on redesigns and models of those to eventually outsource to be modeled for um, 3D rendering because apparently... Having severe carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel, that's tunnel on the other side, 
makes squeezing a cutter over and over again rather mo uh, massively painful. So we're going to find workarounds. We also, if you want a taste of terror, just a little tidbit, may I suggest Through the Thinning Veil, Volume 1. Uh, seven short stories to chill your bones, and some of them are, are based on real events taken from my time as a paranormal consultant. Other times are absolute fiction, and you get to decide which is which, because I ain't telling Maybe I'll, I'll tell my Patreon folks, because the Historical Fencing Guild has a Patreon, and I need to start doing things. I might just put a post up there. And yes, folks, while the video is not set up currently, I will be hosting at 8 p.m. my time the uh, Historical Fencing Guild's live stream to discuss swords and shenanigans, and I have some info on one or more of those objects as a concept. Uh well, thank you for the slight tolerance for the slight chaos that I come bringing in. This is a very big and busy time for me. Um, in what can only be described as a alignment of celestial setups. Ooh, I got news there, too. Uh, my wife's birthday and Easter have happened perilously close. And as I have had other um, other years had trouble at the last minute when things didn't work quite right because, you know, payday had to align in this little triangle of chaos, we did find jelly beans. Now, I had to go to odd stores to make it happen, but there, my son will have jelly beans for Easter, and that's a big part. To those of you who are celebrating this, the most holy of uh, Christian uh, events this weekend, I hope you have a good and joyous one. I hope you uh, take peace in what that represents to us. And to those of you who are ce celebrating some concurrent holidays of other traditions, I hope you enjoy yourselves as well. Now, um, on to my news accountability updates. Wow, folks, I have been busy, so I have cracked the 25,000-word line, just barely, about 38 words over, on Haints and Hellfire 2, and uh, I think at this point, the camera is going to spend some more time on the uh, the intended, I don't want to say hero, so we'll say protagonist of this story. But don't worry, the ones you love from one are not being neglected either. We're just, you know, starting to finally square away for the contest of who's the bigger. <clears throat> it's getting good, friends. Bodies are dropping, horrors are hopping, and a whole lot of things are about to converge. It makes me warm and fuzzy inside. Because if you can't hear, at one point or another, drowning pools bodies playing in the back of your mind whilst reading something, are you reading something worth uh, reading? I don't know. I that you know if that's on that list of if you are a mecha pilot and you have open comms blaring that as you go into conflict seems like a wise choice. So that per parries me over to something I want to ask you guys about. Many of us have uh, fictional titles out there. Do any of you make fan soundtracks of your own books and stories? I'd really like to know this because, like, I'll be writing something and, you know, um, I once had a professor who insisted that Reading for immersion is an inferior type of reading, and that one should read for analysis. But he can take a long walk off a short bridge on that subject. Not that I hold any malice against him, but boy, was he wrong. I write for immersion because when I'm writing these stories, my mind, I'm walking around in this mess going, oh, really? You know? That's happening? And then I have to, like, peek around characters to figure out what else is happening. I find all sorts of surprises that way. Because, you know, when you're reading a really good story, I do hope you get that lovely hallucination where you're there. 
And I like you guys to know that when I'm writing them, I get the exact same effect. Which is really annoying when I can't find what happens next. Um, This is partially why my hair is so gray so rapidly. The other part is the concerted efforts of my wife, uh, which she is very proud of. So, um, amongst other things, we will not be going terribly late today. Um, not because of any issue with, uh, you know, the lovely uh, Daphne Leish and Nita Lanning. I had to catch that because I almost switched their last names, and that could have caused confusion. Not everyone has the benefit of having such close relations as I have with, with uh, Joe Bachman and Trelana. Love you guys. But... Doesn't mean I don't ship them heinously because that's just who I am. Now, um, so yes, I want to know about the music that inspires you or you feel radiates. Do you ever like fan cast your characters? Because I think that process of being your own fan is kind of necessary. And a lot of times my characters are influenced either by people I know. To the point where, uh, in the game I run for the teenagers uh, last night, people were asking me, actually I believe it was our own Alec uh, creation, so I got to see. Oh, very good. They're, they're in good spirits. They need to double down on their homework, but they're doing good. Said, so that character is based on Trelana. Yes. Well, where's Joe? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pardon? I said, where's Joe? <laughs> I mean, no, I don't know. I would never base a character on my dear friend, Joe. And that is something I need to work on in the next couple weeks as well. So there is a lot that is due for uh, Region Con. So I'm going to be busting my proverbial hump on mass production and writing, and trying to format some things. I'm still waiting for shipments to come in. I did get through enough to be able to uh, possibly, if I need to, order more author copies of Hates and Hellfire. It's still saying it's, the updates are in progress, and I really didn't do anything that should be problematic. I just changed some of the keyword searches. But we shall see. I may have to tinker. Um, with that, because I really want to get into your chat, guys. I want to know what's going on. I'm going to run a happy little ad for a good friend of mine. And in about a minute, a uh, minute 11, a minute 15 with recoil, I might just be back. Toodles. <laughs> I do also want to update you guys. There, uh, StreamYard has informed me that there may be some issues with uh, posting to Facebook and upload and tinkering. So when they warn me that there may be issues, I hands off anything that uh, would take would uh, test those issues. I also want to um, remind you guys that. I know AI art can be tempting because you could throw some words and get something possibly passable, but please don't do that. You're not just stealing from uh, the artists that the art has been 
shamelessly uh, stolen from, but you're stealing from yourself in the joy and the personal growth of learning the art. We have to remember, y'all hear the helicopter that's right outside my window? Okay, it's not stopping. It always bother, bothers me when they pause, you know. But, um, yeah, please, please don't, don't hurt yourself by taking the shortcut. I would far rather see your your stick men, your squiggles, your shaking drawing art, your 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 bad Photoshop collages where you're pasting pieces together, than any three D rendered stuff. I also want to say, um, right now, one of my favorite com one of my favorite sets of projects, Magic, is in trouble because people took shortcuts, and there's some massive lawsuits coming their their way because in one card image alone three people were obviously defrauded uh with cop printed copyright work including a fellow by the name of Vo Boris Vallejo so um there is a supposed artist for uh Magic the Gathering who uh well, she must be puckering real hard right now because she ripped off several people to make one card and did not do it well. So let's keep it honest, folks. Now, I will intersperse bits of news and things as I feel necessary. Uh, wearing a shirt like this, you know I'm serious. Uh, you know, as interesting as I am, and I'm interesting, and I, I know I'm coming into Friday, Friday kind of chill. I'm surfing in on about four hours of sleep, and my breakfast is currently half a, okay, so a quarter, so, you know, half of a, the first half of a Benvita biscuit cookie thing. It's going to be a spicy one, but we're going to get through it because that's what Fridays are for. Fridays are when we tra transition from the nine to fives to the every other thing we do is jobs. And uh, let's see. So we're going to hit the chat because you guys are more interesting than I am. And we have Carl Whitman first through the door. Hello, everyone. Joe B., your comment is still here when I got here. Well, it's not here now. So um, it got axed. I did not do it. Um, but that happens sometimes, especially when we're having difficulties. So Joe has this evil grin lurking in the background. Yeah, that one. See, that's a, that's your real evil grin, Joe. Hi. The, uh, well, it doesn't help that I also posted the comment like two days ago. I clicked on the wrong link for Wednesdays at first. Oh, okay. And I was going to ask if he was going to stick around, but he answered that question before I could ask it. Way to solve problems before they they start, Joe. Um, that happens to the best of us. Um, we're fighting the good fight with StreamYard, but but I don't think it's being too misbehaving. I put I'll put that money on uh, the land of Zuck. But accountability for um, Carl Witzman editing another Donna book, then back to DB Cooper, and perhaps releasing some older works that never got published. Yet. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Wonderful. I am all for revamping, cleaning up, and getting out um, all manner of uh, published and unpublished works. Gets out Ackerman to conjure Dawn and Dawn. And without any conjuration needed, the lovely Kelly Carlisle has joined us. At, you know, I know Kelly Carlisle is making it to Valhalla because she is limping her way into to battle. How are you doing, dear? I'm so excited about what I've been hearing about Bishop Kincaid. And uh, I'm going to jump to that because links, paperback, dash, somebody throw those links in. And while that's going on, uh, let's see. Dawn has been conjured. Here comes the dawn. Shoopy dooby. And for friends who need to know about it, Dawn is the author behind uh, her fashionable felines, the lovely Facebook group where you can hear about the misadventures of her cats. 
occasionally they get translated into very Regency English glory. And when they do, I am, of course, delighted. So, yes. And I recoil as from somewhere in Illinois, a squee of subsonic, you know, supersonic proportions hits. Anyhow, which means she either saw the picture, of, saw me flash the picture of her babies, or Chris Walker has entered the chat at farther on. We shall see. And she's greeting Kelly. And Don finds Fireball, Coffee, a huge pink silicone cat statue. What do you think? Well, as long as it wasn't a dragon with poor um, behavior skills, we should be okay. Kelly and Don, Bishop Kincaid links. Yes, we are waiting for them. Let's get that. I will join my bladed thesis. Oh, wait, did I tell you about Kelly? You know what? In a lovely, oddly formatted way, I need to tell you guys about Kelly. No one saw the munch morning munchy dance. No one saw anything. Anyway, uh, Thesis is greeting everyone. Good morning, Thesis. I'll run your ad in a bit. And scratch that for a manure. Scratch that for a minute, I assume. Um, and buddy of the day, I woke up, look at the phone. It's 5 a.m., but I'm still tired. I get up anyway. Go down to make coffee. Coffee maker says 2 a.m. Welcome to the wonder. Come with me and you'll see a world of pure discalcula. Numbers turn, letters burn. It's enough to make you like Caligula. I made that work. I'm not sure how, but it happened. I have been there. Morning thesis, says Dawn. And less done! Put on glasses or get a bigger clock! Clock! I know y'all. And, uh, yes, I occasionally go to the store, and it's too expensive, but there is a gigantic clock. I mean, we're talking nearly three feet in diameter. That has little gears that, that move around in the back. It's quite lovely. And, you know, letters the size of my fist or bigger. Letters. Yes, letters, you know. A o'clock, B o'clock, anyway. Letters on the clock, but, you know, the, the numbers on the clock are big enough that I could take my glasses off and go, Ah! I see! Said the blind man to the deaf dog in the dark. Uh, two naps later, I'm here. Hey, whatever it takes to get on back. Get back to where you once belong. Get back, Jojo. Jeez, Carl, no wonder you're attempting to summon everyone. You felt lonely since two. It's a shame I was awake at two. Um, Because it was one of those nights where thou shalt not sleep. Well, then all right. No brain. Can I rest? No rest. Can I sleep? No sleep, just be. It was one of those. Hey, Dawn, Kelly. So Donna, Carly, Kelly, has come in, and we just want to talk about how smooth it is that she's here. As always, keeping the mojo in the dojo. Friends, colleagues, it is always a better day when the lovely ladies of the rising tide decide to descend upon this homely hobbit running his humble radio show. Naps. Mm-hmm. I love naps. Hi, Donna. Lonely with five cats? Nope. You see, that's our problem. 
We only have four cats. That's why occasionally I end up alone. Hi, Donna. Morning, all. And we've got, after the show, feed cats, feed chickens, and other cat. I, I read that as Meow Yard. Sure. Take another nap. Green room. And, oh, look at that. That is Foxy coming in. You know, uh, I have this thing for Kitsunes. Uh, it's always nice to have another Kitsune in the, in the uh, chat. How are you doing? And we've got Bishop Kincaid, E-Link, tinyurl.com, gobbly gook. Hey, Foxy, it's not working. We'll keep trying. Hey, Trey. Trey says, good morning, all. So, Trelina, I do have a minor problem that applies to you. I have been requested to draw you as an ant, ant holding Dawn as a hobbit. And every time I try to draw you as an ant, you come out looking more and more like a badass uh, ant. New to Tradgoth, you know? I don't know why. I think it's because I picked the wrong face reference. But I will try to get there when I get there. And until then, I'm going to have a lot of gothic tray references floating around. It happens. Hey, Don and Trey. Hey, Trey and Thesis. Kelly, says Don. I believe you have to put it HTTP or www or something like that to make the link work. That's why I don't gen generally share links on my phone. Hey, Trey. And it worked, Kelly. Took me here. Amazon.com slash paranormal case files. Bishop McCabe ebook. DP. B-O. Blah, 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 blah. Slash. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a great, if you don't, if you can't mess with the tiny URLs but you want to share the link to your books or anybody else's books on Amazon. Um, man, I really want to share my own screen so I can point to it and have you see it. Uh, but after you go, it'll have the name of the book and what it is, a little thing like DP in this case, which I believe is digital print. And B, oh, you know, this happy little reference, that's where you can stop. The slash ref, all that, that's tracking information for how you got there. And Kelly says, there is something really wrong with this laptop. I'm tossing it in the duck pond. In the Navy, my dad used to work on something called the teletype machine which is one of the world's most complex electromechanical devices. It would take electronic information, change it to mechanical information, and change it back to electronic information. And I think it would print. N insanely complex devices. Very, very heavy. Very large, very heavy devices. And see, after there would come a point of working on them after they'd broken sufficiently, where the only thing was to do the float test. You would float test it, and if it came back to the surface, he'd have to have ask the captain to turn the ship around and go get it. I understand the desire to float test things, but please don't float test your laptop. We are at a time where a lot of bizarre updates are happening. Uh, there are chances it could be fixed. Or just remove the hard drive and give it to somebody who's working on learning how to tinker with computers. Because then, you know, it's broken, but they can, you know, fiddle with it. And it did. Holy crud. And that sounded oddly satisfying. And good Friday, all. Yes, actually. It's a very good Friday. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day, Dawn. I know we are. And bit dot, bit .ly. I can't even say bit.ly without editing it for. And tiny URL, don't, just don't make clickable links. But I copied it, pasted it into another window, and it worked. I'll try that for the paperback. Excellent. And Carl's uh, 
Delighted to see Trey, as are we all, whatever works. And I hope she is cuddled up with stitchery and feline association. And that's weird, Carl, but thanks for checking. Ducks in the duck pond are safe for the moment. It's a YouTube thing. I want to swim with the ducks. Okay. Maybe you do it, maybe you don't. Because um, there's a place my brother used to love to fish. And uh, it ha it's it's a name. It's, it's a place in LaPorte, Indiana. But we call it Goose Poop Island, and we don't say poop, uh, poop for it. Because it gets nasty when they come through. So, yeah, no. You don't want to swim with the ducks. Manatees, however. Beware flung laptops, Don. Bishop Kincaid paperback link. Tiny URL. Those letters. Get go. I'll keep an eye out. And there's the Amazon link for the uh, Paranormal Case Files of uh, Bishop Kincaid. And the ducks are safe for, for a moment. For a moment. But this laptop stays are numbered. One of these days, says Thesis, I'll have to tell the story of ducks. It came from beneath the sea. I wish the sinking were better on that one, but it's still good. Everybody must be sleeping in. Yep. Do I get to say it again today? Ooh. Those ducks in the pond know my pain. Feed them grapes and they'll spare you when they rise up in righteous anger. Ba, ba, ba. Duck walked up to the lemonade stand. Anyhow, poor Foxy. I woke up the cats this morning. Ah, Mary had a little lamb, but I ate it. Daddy Duck's quack busters. Yeah, we're in a mood, guys. Cats let us sleep in. It was amazing. And LOL Don Dulas. And yes, it is nice when you get the, to sleep in. And of course, I got get up with the dog, and it's that word. It's not doing that word here right now. It's 43 degrees. So I am not going to complain. I Really, somebody out there, find me a 1930s type, typewriter. Okay, um, what you want is a, there. There, is, the Royal Typewriter Company is still going, and there are a couple companies that are making. They are a bit on the vintage prestige pricing, mechanical typewriters. There are also several uh, writers' aid devices that are very, very simple uh, keyboard and an LCD screen that just lets you type. Um, they are very popular with some people who want to go a little more analog. It's going to get up to 71 here, hence the need to mow. But before I get another letter from the city. Lamau, chaos confirmed. And Sarah, Sarah hasn't been conjured up yet. No, but, you know, we look at the... Uh, the bats that are circling overhead and the doom clouds that are rising on the horizon. And I think it must be Sarah Sarah stirring in her sleep. Hey, Donna. You know, seems like Carl had a sleepless night. It's a shame you didn't as well. And DPM. I don't know what DPM is. But I said DPM. I thought DPD, which is a set of skits by a gentleman who happens to be a biological dwarf and now my brain is in places nick is rocking and rolling today walk rocking and rolling strutting and strolling we are getting it down and getting it done today now i believe there was an ad that was promised to be run i probably said thesis is, so i'm gonna welcome run friends i'm bladed thesis and this is my tea house Come join me every other Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time as we discuss Chinese culture, history, philosophy, and of course, martial arts. You can find me at youtube.com slash b-l-a-d-e-d-t-h-3-s-i-s. 
pull up a chair, grab a cup of tea, or the drink of your choice, and join the discussion. Absolutely. Now, dang it, right hand on wrong keys. I will never um, hold any malice against someone with typos because I know how I roll. Don't forget to like and share, folks. And thank you. Please do. And I hope that everyone has a great weekend despite the rain. Yes, ma'am. And I hope your sales are doing well. Ted has a four-day weekend. Send me patience, LOL. See, that's one thing I never really got. Nobody move. Something I've been looking for for like a month or two has come out of hiding. And only because I bought a replacement, as such things do. But I have to get it before it disappears. Ha 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 ha! My brain! See, I went down to Dollar General, and I paid a mighty $3, for a new version of a book like that. That's Graphwind. All excited because I had given up finding my waterproof um, quasi-Graphwind uh, nifty book. But, as soon as I do that, of course, of course, my notes for the convention show up, and some of the the unit design stuff shows up, so I can get back to work in the green book. Yes! This is good news, folks. This is, this is progress. The world is trying to get me organized. And, uh, Accountability, back to work on the journals after taking a few days to let the blister heal. I think this dang thing is going to scar. And Don says, chicks dig scars. Scars heal, glory fades, and all you're left with all the memories made. Then chicks will love my, hand, my cat scratches and hemony bite marks on my hand. Oh, I've got more than a few uh, scars that, you know, when, when they are noticed, um, make for good conversation. Fortunately, you know, one of them is well hid under my assault eyebrows. You know, these are tactical assault eyebrows, not to be wielded by mere mortals. And not as fun as the hip scar, though. Absolutely. I like how Nick's shirt today looks like the cover of one of BKM's books. The, isn't this great? This is one of the one uh, from the my wife got them for me collection. Mm. Accountability says Joe Bachman. Oh, see, he leaves when I get to talk to his stuff. Up to 4,800, 48, words. So 4,833. I have to get that without the number and things floating around, for the current work in progress. Beyond the Code and The Burning is Love and The Burning is Yarn are back next week, nothing to report at this time. Well, I know what Joe's been doing, so I know why he's been so busy. And he's been kicking butt and taking names. Hey, Thesis and Joe. Joe. And I have several bags of Sour Patch Watermelon je gum Jelly Beans. Six at last count, and that's after I've ever four or five of them. Oh, my. No, I, I managed to find the Brock's classic jelly beans. Now, after Easter will be the Great Reckoning, where we descend on the discount jelly beans and get all the black ones. And please remember, if you are one of those people who dislike black licorice or black jelly beans and aren't sure what to do with it, I will, myself and my family, as a kindness to you, will gladly handle any of those that have come your way. Good morning, folks. Good morning, Joe Bachman. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joe. I enjoyed your evil face last night when you realized 
Mondays behind the code will be April Fool's Day. PSA, folks. And I hate to do this, but I have to. April Fool's Day is coming up. I will be broadcasting. Oh, oh. Anyhow. Sorry, there's a lot of recoil from those. I will be broadcasting. Um, Please, if you do do jokes or, or pranks on anyone, one, do not do any jump scare uh, uh, crazy pranks on me. I do not respond well. I ask that. Keep Be considerate of the people you may be, be making pranks on. Please don't um, falsely announce... Uh, Pregnancies, please don't falsely announce illnesses. It is never funny. Um, I know too, pe too many people who have had to lose children to not take that very seriously. And um, just, just be gentle with each other. We've been through a lot. So short of something as innocent as nerf ambushes for, for the prepared parties, let, let's be easy on each other this April Fool's Day. And don't believe anything you read or see that day. I know I won't. I intend to stay as far away from uh, April Fool's Day as possible. But back to the thing. You and your beans thesis. It sounds like Ted and his gummies. At least getting up at 2 a.m., I got to watch LMS while it was still fresh. Could you smell the glory? Feel the fizz of Cuckoo Cola. Hey, I only get them every couple of years or so. I like gummies, too. And my voices not only tell me what they're saying, what they're doing, but they act out for me in like a movie. Neat. I like that. Um, in my case, uh, it's like watching on the holodeck so i will watch from, from people's perspectives i'll hop out walk around the room which is why sometimes i have to stop and i'll be like in a scene like come on load load i get the you know these like sky the the version of the skyrim uh uh loading screens with little tips and tricks for you know you know nick if you ever wrote down all your characters names in a separate document that you could easily reference, you wouldn't have to keep scrolling back and forth. And then the music starts back up, and I'm back in the scene. And Grant Wankard says, Hello! 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 Hi, Grant. Hey, Grant. And very rarely do I get in a good writing groove. I will indeed hear music, but it's more like background music in a movie. Like you could tell it's happening, but well, yes, that's what that's the point. Uh, with the rare exception that if we ever did do a soundtrack to uh, Hints at Hellfire One, uh, I really believe. Well, be, well, it's not even believe. There's one song that has to be in it. It, there's no choice, and anybody who's read that book will know exactly what song it is, um, because it's actually mentioned delightfully. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear anyone who's read that if if there's any music that goes well with it in your head, and maybe I'll release mine. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> And very rarely when I get good writing... Okay, no, I already answered that one. And someday I will write up my idea for a comedy parry of James Bond with soundtrack by Sex Bomba Spy Music. Rock on! I'm I'm a thousand percent behind that. I love a good comedy parody. Hey, Grant. Hey, Grant. And speaking of Grant, maybe you can do an homage. Decollage. Anyway... Hello, Donna. Hello, Blade. Hello, Carl, and everybody else. I had a bunch of weird dreams last night. Oh, excellent. Do tell. Hi, Grant. 
Well, th that's good for the writer in you, right, Grant? And, uh, okay, I'm sorry, my, um, I had to check that I was seeing this comment right because just for a second, it looked like a lot of things I read on First Pass. Hello, Dawn and the Dawn and the Donna Hybrid Donna. Guitar riff. Foxy, foxy lady. Giggles. Ah, I got the spelling all wrong in my Dwana joke. It happens. Have you been drinking already? I hope not. Grant, are those names for are those names for me? Dare I say, homage? Hello, that was cute, Grant. They get it. There's that word again. I hope it's not an insult. Just teasing. Good to see Grant pulling out some, putting out some personality there. I'm glad to see it. Drinking coffee. He's usually so quiet and reserved. Loving silly Grant. Well, no, okay. Let me explain. The black helicopters have not found me. The black helicopters monitor certain regions of Indiana that I just happen to be in frequently. I don't mess with them. They don't mess with me. Here, Okay, here's a question. And this is a good question, Grant. How do you feel about using AI for reference? I need a lot of reference when I draw, and sometimes I have trouble finding reference. That is one of those where it is a... Uh, it is a slippery slope with me because that's not far from typing something into Google Images and scrolling through and looking for it. But if you go through, at least optimally, uh, uh, something like you know, Google Images, you should be able to credit the artist, even if it's just keeping track of them because I like their work. Um, it is much better than using it for a... Uh, um, it is much better than using it for a production piece. And I can see the posting. It's, I promise I see that as a slippery slope. I know of one gentleman who all, for the record, all his, uh, um, he does his comic, but he hires outside people to, for, for his comic and uh, has them do the layouts with the 3D figures from, like, Clip Studio has, where, where you can actually, if you want to get into it, position 3D, like, mannequins in the different poses and then draws over them to uh, aid in speed. Now, I, to me, I find that just a bit shady because that's some a huge part of somebody else's work. But it's still fairly collaborative, and at this point, at least, it's a per you're using a person, and as long as you credit them, no beef. Because, you know, especially something like a comic, they are rarely one-man shows at a professional level. There's, you know, inkers and pencilers and flatters. So having a layout guy, I can sort of see. Uh, it's not something I do that, like I said, um, using AI for art for reference it is right on that line where I can see it. I can also see it as a way in the door because it's so easy. You just type in a few words and you get, bam, most anything. And you still have to, to work on drawing hands. but So that might be a good one for the chat. I'd like to hear what other people have to say about that. We've got about uh, 10 more minutes. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to click through this comment. Oh, sorry. Let's do this real quick. Zuck's paratroopers are sliding down the ropes at this moment. Yes, I know. But you have to understand, guys, 
It's early spring. And luring the uh, paratroopers in is how the, the lovely uh, corn shark pups get their early taste of human. It, it's just necessary for, for, for the little ones who are just breaking through the weeds that are coming up, waiting for the proper uh, corn to rise, to find a, and learn how to hunt a, and have nourishment. So they're delivered sort of like that cow dropped into the raptor tank. You know, we must be caretakers of our natural cryptids. Um, but yes, I'd like, to, I'd like to hear what other people feel about that. Accountability, says Trey. Trey, uh, Brett has bounced back from his neutering, sassier than ever, and I've been setting yarn on fire with the speed I've been hooking. You know, Trey, I got to say, you are one of my favorite hookers, you know, because there's there's nobody who does it like you. And I just want to take a moment to um, thank you from the bottom of my heart for um, the help you are giving uh, my lovely wife to improve her hooking. Um, it just, it, it just enhances the lifestyle and it makes things so much better. I know I have earned this soundly. This is completely on me, but I couldn't resist. So I am not the green rooming myself. Had to do that before Joey broke out one of the fancy ones he keeps in reserve. I know how he is. <laughs> oh no, you're you're all you, we are pro hooks and hookers. Uh, and you know what? I don't even care. I actually am. Take that how you will. I may not use the services, but I do respect anybody in, in a field, and they should be treated with respect. Nice tray. Cool tray. So also, do you have an, eth an ethical uh, problem with me AIing my face onto Jason Momoa's body? Okay. Um... I don't think, I think you could accomplish that with Photoshop just as well. And uh, it depends what you're using that image for, uh, Mr. Lankard. AI for reference is okay, just check the facts. And yet, artistic reference. I would be hesitant to use it for anything writing more than something like, because technically Grammarly services are considered AI. It's it's a very thin line, but at this point between where spell check stops and AI begins. Uh, but I, again, I'm hesitant to use that. I would rather have honest typos than um, borrowed phrases. And you can do that, Grant, as long as you're not trying to make money off of it. As he said, yes, you will have to check all the information given as, like the internet, everything can be made up and used as source material when the source material is wrong. It literally has just happened. It happened to those lawyers who tried to use it. Does anyone want to listen to an hour-long philosophical discussion about names? Um, is this this week or one you've already done? Because, um, I do find naming and naming conventions fascinating as someone whose name is not his own. Uh, I was given my grandfather's name, so at, that's why I am the second. I can't be a junior because there was a, a generation of you know a gap in the generation but uh yes i am the second and i never had the privilege of meeting the man so i've always considered carrying his name uh something of a privilege but also something of a uh it has an element of being the burden of i do, would not want to uh desecrate his name, nor the name of the Tockert family. And yes, that is incredibly old style, but I take it 
deadly serious um, to the point where it has affected my vocation in that um, the necessity to continue the name prohibited me from certain uh, endeavors. Uh, now I can't get the image of Grant's face uh, on uh, Momoa's body. Well, y'all enjoy it. I'm, I'm sure that uh, uh, Carl can make that happen. Kelly Carlisle will get the first change to reject, first chance, I assume, to reject the D.B. Cooper story when Atomic Stories number two comes around. My babies! Don's babies! Wasn't paying attention and typed out a work email with the wrong keyboard. Y'all almost got to see professional email tray. Per your hot last email. We will be there, Thesis. I, I'm okay with professional, Trey. You know, we're just waiting for Joey to make enough money at NDCD that you can retire from that and just be his secretary. The, the, I see, I said that, and, and I could just see Joey going through the thoughts involving things like pencil skirts that aren't likely to happen. But, you know, maybe if he's good. Uh, and even if it's not likely to happen, we're fiction authors. We can think about it anyway. Yeah, I think that would warrant a hit off of your vape, Joe. Anyhow, uh, we will be there, Thesis. And you know why I'm in a good mood? I have the weekend off for a change. Rock on! Enjoy it. Nice. Uh, thanks, Carl. And I am way, way behind in the comments, so I'm going to hit a comment dump, and I'm going to turbo through a lot of this so that I can not be on too late because this is technically how we're, how we're so celebrating uh, Amanda's birthday. So um, let's see. Where were me? Where were me? Where were we? Okay. And someone is messaging me during my stream. That's always interesting. Enjoy your weekend. Now I want to see professional email, Trey. Y'all need to stop putting images in my mind. I'm out of morning munchies, so not munchy morning dance for me. I'm sorry. Working on a donut. Already ate my nuts. So, Angie didn't have to work today, so I didn't have to get up early to drive her to work either. Wonderful. Good morning. To clarify timelines, am I correct in saying that tonight's work will begin? Oh, no. Oh, no. Confident and, and uh, slightly condescending uh, professional speech. I'm sorry. Pardon the chill that just went up me. I read that line, and I swear I heard it in uh, Miss Crimson's voice, which was problematic. Anyway, so I got to sleep. Sleep is great when you can get it. I got 12 hours yesterday, in, uh, you know, day before into yesterday, because I, I went 8 o'clock. I'm like, oh, I, got, I don't feel good, and I crashed. So I got four hours today because, you know, the whole universe has to rattle down. Wow, you sure winning today, Grant. Hi, Trey. I have a laser clock that projects the time on the ceiling, but Calvin would blind himself or kill me trying to jump at the time. Hmm. I almost wouldn't mind one of those as a nightlight. Or Trey. Skippy PB bites as my snack. They're tasty. Um, I am rocking on my semi-breakfast, semi-snack because my tummy is in absolute agony right now. These little dudes. Hashtag not sponsored, but they're very, very good. They're breakfast biscuits with, like, chocolate in the middle, and they have fiber and stuff, which might be part of why my stomach's not happy with me. Anyway. Hey, Grant, 
Right, it's sal salmon uh, salmon bagel for breakfast today. Salmon bagel. Oh yes, that computes. And no sleep till Antia. No sleep till NTF. And anyway, mmm, sounds good. Hi, a chat. Hey, you must be from the Midwest, Foxy. Hey, no, no, no Jewish delicatessens in the Midwest. West. That is false. They're just rare. Continues Beastie Boys riff uh, in non copywritten jams. Richie from Missouri. And oh, hey, hey, Gray Wolf. I'm sorry, I didn't see you slide in. And certainly none in Utah, Grant. Yeah, that might be interesting. Tee <laughs> hee, Trey. And hey, Gray Wolf. And hmm. Wonder if I should do another ad for my journals and, and training weapons. Yes, you should, because you should always promote your stuff. Now, the reason that I was excited about this particular book, and I will tell you because this was rather expensive, which is why I was upset that I couldn't find it, is it has a couple key factors that are um, necessary. It is rainproof, water waterproof, water resistant, um, because it's that stone paper. And I love, and I need to find out if it's copyright or it's acquirable. Let me see. Can you see? Okay, it's really hard to see, but we'll try and get it. There you go. It has both, you know, hard, full uh, horizontal lines, but dashed graph lines. So I can, at any point, break the image up into chunks and use it for things like, this was the original map of the layout when I was figuring it out for um, IndieCD.com. It got switched around a lot because of people and different needs, but that's why it's written in pencil. Um, this is a reference on how I make the pieces to assemble for Big Stompy Robots to scale. And I'm because I'm copying them all down again as I go through. This is one of those things that are great. Um, that's why I, I like it. Uh, I am a sucker for graph paper, though, being an old school DM. And that's why I was really excited to get this little guy who um, is just a spiral bound but lay flat. So this is better for a different type of application. I love a little book like this is great for being your DM. Uh, this is the campaign book that I actually would work out of. I also like books about this size when I am uh, running, uh, when I'm playing a character very rarely because then I can put all my spells, special abilities, and keep it in. Joe told me about the Ant request. I'm going to work on it. But like I said, I, I my, my mistake was I grabbed one of my favorite pictures of you, which is the one where you're all done up in the makeup. You've got your black glasses slid down a little bit, all your piercings in, and you look like a goth goddess. And the energy of that was bumping. Uh, true. At least... True, at least, none about us. Maybe up north. Oh, um, okay, you're still tracking Jewish del Jewish delicatessens. Guys, love the speech impediments you're making me surf. Jeesh, I'm a hobbit sis now? LOL, just because my brain and tug had a blip. I'm right there with you. And I don't think you... I think you have to blame Rich for that, Don. I don't remember a lot of Last Man Standing from last night. That was actually during uh, Stupid O'Clock. Um, because I missed Last Man Standing because I asked my lovely wife, the birthday girl, what she wanted to do. And she wanted to watch um, an episode of Spy Family, which, because we we had been waiting for the second season to get dubbed, so that we could watch it dubbed with the subtitles on. Because that's how we watch things. And be, it, we've been checking it, and it just happened on that day to be released. So she was delighted. Happy wife, happy life. Post that episode. She went to bed. I tried to go to bed after my sword drills. Stayed in bed till she fell asleep, and then got up and wandered around for a bit because sleep was not my friend. Blame me for the Ent. Rich for the Hobbit. I see. 
So you want me to give Trey Wood? Hold on. I want confirmation on that, that head nod. Excellent. I'll let you go back to work, Joe. Oh, no, nope. wrong Joe. Wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong Joe. He wants me to draw her as an ant. And you know what? I believe the old standard blank aren't deal breakers has been in my vocabulary for a while. Oh, okay, that's good. I would, I would put... There's no way she's not going to turn into kind of a dryad, though, by nature. We'll see. We had old punch card machines in the Air Force days. I love punch card machines! Punch card tech was awesome. I don't care what anybody says. You got to have that. Now, let's see. Because everyone is hobbit size compared to Rich, basically. You see... At between 5'7 and 5'5, five five, I am not that actually short. But I am uh, uh, surrounded often by sort of people. And many swordsmen tend to be six foot plus. So I spent so much time around six foot six dudes as the only person who was not. It completely, and the same thing happened in, uh, growing up in Michigan City. It warped my sense of scale. You know, it just happens. I do, before people ask, a lot of the women in Michigan City were five, ten, six foot. A lot were taller than me. It did not bother me. And I'm going to say this before I follow this. If you are intimidated by a woman who is taller than you, you deserve to be intimidated. I like them all. If you're intimidated by a woman who is shorter than you, congratulations, you are on the path to wisdom. But there's the evil laugh I was looking for. Rich, ugh. And Grey Wolf was greeting and bit.ly in time can be clickable, but you have to put the HTTPS colon slash slash in front of the link. And that, swim with the ducks minus the duck poop. That's acceptable. Uh, I know Goose Poop Island. There used to be a song. Whatever you do, don't bury me on Goose Poop Island. Anyway. Ooh, so I sort of did know something. The HTTP is needed. Yes. And for example, HTTP colon slash slash bit dot Lee slash indie CD dash Carl will be clickable. But bit dot Lee slash indie CD dash Carl just shows up as regular text. The more you know. Uh, hey. Hey, Gray, I learned on key punch machines and those awful cards. And Kelly says, D.B. Cooper, why, thank you, Carl. Keep me posted on this. Most interested. Foxy, I learned to type on a typewriter. Mm-hmm. Clickety, 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 ding! The problem with learning to type on a typewriter, and hi, my name is Nick is to be in a computer class with a stupid cardboard thing over your keys. Which, if I thought I was bad before I had carpal tunnel, now I'm nightmarish. But ticka, 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 and then just smack the side of the keyboard? Yeah! Trey's going into listening mode so she can cuddle the kitties and get on with the stitchery. I don't know if I can find the uh, reel, but I saw some really great uh, whimsical crochet wear that went through that went across. I'm like, ooh, I need to get that to Trey so that she could try to steal the design. I mean, you probably wouldn't wear it the way the model was wearing it, but 
I probably have dad's old Smith Corona that I learned on in the garage somewhere. Uh, good morning and good Friday to everyone. Good Friday to all of you. Uh, and I found an old typewriter in my parents' room when I was around 10 years old. It was fun to play until they sold it at a yard sale. Oh, and there's Don, Chris, squee! And everyone's saying, hey, Chris. And somewhere I have one of those typewriters that have letters up above and they come down on the paper instead of up to the paper. Oh, like like the one Mark Twain used to use, uh, used because he's deceased and totally not preserved. Anyway, I didn't say anything that could get me in trouble. Chris. Now you've got Chris. I'm just Chris. <laughs> you know, Nick, someone can make you another little notebook like that. He's made one in the past. I do love the notebooks, and I that's why, and I certainly wouldn't turn it down. I was just explaining why I was excited about this one, because this one was rather costly for my scale of things. Um, it was six bucks, seven bucks, but I'm act I'm trying to make it my everyday carry notebook so that I can do a proper review. And um, because I know he's probably not watching this, I kind of want to get one for my dad. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. And the comment dump is fighting with the, uh, the other stuff. So give me a moment. No, I don't want to hide current comment. I want to get to it. You guys are literally entering comments so fast it's not even comment dumping anymore. It's just pulling the uh, the uh, cursor around for me. It's really delightful. Hey, Chris. Hi, Chris. Accountability. Yes, I made it to 1,200 newsletter subscribers. I started the year with 1,100. My goal is to make it to uh, 1,500 by end of the year. You are killing it, Grant. Nice, Grant. Let me know if you ever want to bit, put paid ad in your newsletter. Nick, you like black jelly beans? No, I don't like black jelly beans. I love black jelly beans. I love black licorice. And I'm not just talking the Twizzlers quasi-black licorice. No, I'm talking even the Panda authentic black licorice that you have to be careful how much you eat because it can lower your blood pressure dangerously. The real stuff. Oh, it's so good. We ended up getting a vast quantity of it because it was on clearance because it was aging out. So for a while, I had a whole little shop display because they were like 25, 30 cents a piece of uh, Panda Black Licorice at my disposal. It was glorious. But yes, I do like licorice. I get it from my mother. My dad likes it too, but not like mom. Okay. Hey, Chris. I generally just use ice cubes. Wow. That is so non secret. You know what? Hold on. Just hold on. Yeah. Uh, there's an old song by Moonwolf that was dedicated to a man who went by the handle of Jafar. And the title of the song was Hooters. Because while the man had died, he, he, the man was not a sad type of person. So his memorial song was not a sad type of song. I will not do a rendition of it because I'm sure I would violate any number of of uh, YouTube and Facebook rules, but if you can find it, it is worth a listen. And if you're in my area, says Tr Trey, send the black licorice beans my way. Oh, Trey is Trey is uh, hunting for the black licorice. I see how it is. I don't usually care for jelly beans as a whole. Usually, I I misplace that usually, but I go, well, that's okay. You have the right to not like them. That leaves them more for me. Ice cubes for fooling. Yeah, that's still not helping. Um. Anyway, Foxy and I have Monday off, so we might not leave the house. 
You know what? I just flashed the green room sign. Please don't make me do it again. In high school, our French class would just put fish signs on people's backs. Harmless prank, but it was good for, for a laugh for everyone. That's acceptable. Uh, that sounds good to me, Thesis. That way we don't have to deal with dumb people. Don says, if I announced my pregnancy, Carl would have to be revived. <laughs> Woo! I don't mind tricks that leave everyone laughing, but I know too many dumb, cruel people. Exactly. Ditto, Donna. I would have to talk with my doc. If the victim of the prank isn't laughing, it's just bullying. Absolutely. Here goes, says Chris Walker. Hey, Don, Donna, Carl, Trey, Joe, Grant, Grey Wolf, Kelly, Amanda, Xander, and Nick. Yeah, you got almost everybody in there. I think you might have got everybody. Missed Foxy. And bladed. But you're getting there. Donna pregnant? Get my lawyer on the phone. A certain su surgeon will be sued if he's still alive. So would I. I got snipped for a reason. According to Trey, says Don Duos, my prank on John was mean. Dang. Oh, the ice got you. I spelled that wrong. Look for sex, Bombo. Gotcha. Apologies to Kelly for the misspelling. Well, many reasons, but still. Homage, there's that word again. That's the, the, the word double. That's right. Daily double. I better not find out that's an insult. Aw, Huli must be feeling better. She jumped in bed. Aw, she's been aching too much most of the week to jump. I'm sorry to hear that. And just got a call from her bestie, says Donna Carly Carlene. I'm getting butterscotch moonshine for watching kiddo. That sounds tasty, says Trey. Poor Huli. Poor Huli. Old puppers sometimes have issues. At 14, she's pretty well, though. Might have to invest in baby aspirin. Or maybe stairs? Joe says... Trey is all right for a first hooker. Dude, don't even joke. Don't even joke, man. I have enough karma points that I could black bag her and bring her home. Like, I would even make a ding in my stored up karma points at the end of it. Don't you put her on the market. Don't even imply that, Joseph. Ha! And I know you're going to anyway. If she does the same thing to you, it's adorable. And I love my hair ties, but they actually stay, they actually stay in my hair. Um, I actually got the ones from Wally World, and they are working pretty well. The cheapos. The thick, they're thicker though, and they don't have that stupid metal bar. This is not my first time with longer hair. It is just nice to be back, though. I feel a bit more like me. I think we all know what I'm using that image for. Yes, I mean. And Dawn says, first hooker. I mean, she did allow you to bring multiple po <clears throat> or cats in the house. Yep. Pimpin' ain't easy. Truth for story time. Amanda has, or perhaps better said, had a cloak. This, what is it, leopard print? This leopard print fur cloak that I wore to an event whilst walking with a cane. And my old sword master saw this and saw that I was accompanied by ladies and said, you know, you're good, but I'm a bigger pimp. You want to have a pimp off? We can do this. Word got around. And about the time a certain baroness, who shall remain nameless, but give some of the best hugs in the universe, was volunteering to, to be in part of the retinue and the discussion of, can we modify a medieval moored Sith uniform and get it issued to everyone 
was out. He conceded the field through cowardice. It's good to be the king. You should know, Chris. <laughs> no. Energy drinks through the nose. Fortunately, missed the panel I'm working on. Well, um, I'm sorry that you're having unexpected liquids come out orifices they weren't designed for. Not the first time I've made that statement. Probably won't be the last. Now, always. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Cindy Kemp. And she's going to be dropping things. Y'all, I'm in an hour 20. I'm going to catch Dutch. So, hey, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Ooh, thesis. I'd love to see a show about names. I will have to catch it on re, uh, rerun because uh, this weekend is kind of celebrating Mandy's birthday. And I am going to be eyeball deep in con prep. Morning, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Waves. We all love Cindy. Art and Tales. I don't promote that book enough, but it's a great book. Amazon.com slash author. Author's Nicholas Tucker. See? And it ends with the F3 part. I always remember the F3 part. That is something only the truly cultured would understand. And if you don't, please don't try. Anyway. Uh, find... More art at deviantart.com slash Nick T. Yep, 20 years worth. Enjoy. Tune in to Nevermind the Furthermore today, and that's the uh, the link for this channel. And tune in to the channel, which is right there. Indeed, the name show will be tomorrow night. Maybe we can. We'll see. Names have power. The Hysterical Fencing Guild tonight at 7 p.m. Yes, and I have a, a small announcement of having pulled off something I've been trying for a while. Calvin, it's lunchtime. Everybody have a great day. See you later, Carl. Support Nick's efforts to teach people to be more dangerous safely. Join my Patreon. Thank you. And I appreciate my, my patrons so much. You guys don't know what you do, both to keep the guild going and simply to keep my uh, spirits buoyed. And uh, bye, Carl. See you later. And they got, we'll see ya. And find terrors, patreon.com slash Brian K. Morris. And find this, the rest of the terrors and other good things at Brian K. Morris's Amazon. Cindy Kep's linking Bladed Thesis's Tea and Martial Arts. Bye, Carl. Hi, Cindy. hi -o! I'm heading to Dean and Daphne's show. Give them my love. All of it. Uh, bye, Grant. See ya, dudes. Right in the rain notebooks. I use those field books at work. Okay, so you understand. Dudes. Help for caregivers, a Victoria Adams uh, book referencing Job. It's on my to-read list. More art here at Brian Rodman. Oh, God, Brian Rodman's amazing, folks. John says, I am obsessed with office paper good stuff. He <laughs> he. It is, I have to be very careful. I love things like that. And I love the theory of getting organized, but I end up with planners stacked all around me. So I'm trying to find a balance. Stationary can be... Oh, yeah. Well, okay. We went to the uh, Huntington City Township slash Township Library in Huntington, Indiana. The library is so big, I had to buy a uh, souvenir Excluding the fact that they gave us their old card catalog, which is now literally filled with magic cards, because we are awesome. But, look at this thing, okay? It's a nice little booky thing. Sketch pad, little uh, page flags, and uh, full-size uh, post-it notes. With one of the uh, Save the Environment uh, cardboard pens that actually writes quite well. I love this thing as a concept. And I love the design. And I am totally not thinking of making something similar out of light grade leather to, to have a little pocket pad folio. And then shoving one of those tiles on it so I can find it. That's a brilliant idea. 
I need to, to, to tell Manda that. Okay. Goods. Ugh, yes. Pop is home for now, so check his show out. Yep. Uh, subtitles are great. Yes, I watch television with the subtitles on. I have, you know, confirmed hearing gaps. Y'all can't come at me. And it helps Xander with his reading, which he says he can't do. Everyone who's well my journals, please take a pic and send them to me on Facebook. I will work on a journal ad. Yes, we need to. Trey says, good morning, Amanda. Okay, I, I hope you heard that. And hi, Amanda and Xander. Xander's sleeping in on my list thesis. And kitty lunchtime. Everyone have a great weekend. See you Monday, if not before. Oh, it will be before. Sigh. Out of break. Tune in to CKOE. PP. For dragons and books. See you later, Donna. Stay tuned for the release of Oh, Say It. If you don't think I'm going to promote the living heck out of that, you have been eating too many of uh, Nita, La Nita, Laffy, Nita Lanning's uh, fruit snacks. Have a good day, Cindy. Bye, Donna. We're going to click through this, maybe. Go support my Patreon, patreon.com slash C-K-O-E-P-P. I'm off to edit bank procedures. Ew. Well, you know what? It would be good, good uh, resource for writing a heist book, though. Good morning. And Dan Hollifield has come down from the mountain to visit us all. Good morning, Dan Hollifield, the master of that billion himself. And, and I think I will run his ad because it's a nice shorty. And then we will get on with the show. Ooh. Hello, I'm Dan Hollifield. I'm the senior editor and publisher of Abelian Webzine, the world's oldest free creative writing e-zine since 1997. Since then, we have helped over 500 amateur writers learn what they needed to turn pro. www.apheilion-webzine.com and read not only what we've got going on right now, but 28 years worth of our archives of stories. Thank you very much. Yep. Support Dad Hallfield because he has supported so many doing so much. I hated that cardboard thing. I was short enough, though I could kind of lean back a little and still see. Oh, those. Yes. Well, now that I know I have hand issues, it makes sense that I couldn't type and I still can't type worth a dang. Hey, Dan. Morning, Dan. I still don't use home row well. My hands are small, and I have trouble making some of the reaches. Same here. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Oh, crud. Accountability. Um, my to-do li list is in a planner. Yep. Um, Did we all disappear? A bunch of us did, but a bunch of us are still here. And you know what? Shout out to all the wonderful people who are watching me in silence. I do appreciate you sitting and watching, and I hope you find this enjoyable. If there's anything, feel free to enter our chat. This is a fairly safe place. Still here? Nope, I can see myself. I think we're all tempting to let him catch up. I appreciate that. Fred was snoring in my ear, and I didn't want to disturb him. That's adorable. Okay, we just become very quiet, and us being quiet is scary. Well, I figure you're all plotting. LOL, says Foxy. And... Thesis says, silence is golden, duct tape is silver. Remember, duct tape is the great transmogrifier. It turns no, no, no into mm, mm, mm. Speaking of planners, again, got my new one. I used July, June, so I've been watching for a specific one. Excellent. And don't forget to like and all that stuff's. Ye enter the chat. We don't bite much. The thesis, thesis says plotting, scheming, cackling. Don says maybe a nibble. Y'all, I love you, but you were like pushing like the lycanthropic entry code and you're starting to get the numbers right. You all be better be careful. I'm not sure what the moon phase is, but there's weirdness about. So y'all, be careful. Read your bibbles! Anyway, 
I'm going to run some ads, and then I'm probably going to wrap things up. So unless something massive comes up, I'm just going to keep walking. I'm going to keep walking. I said that. I'm going to keep walking. Anyway, uh, we've got a few people who really need a, need an ad. Or Cindy. <laughs> Joe Bachman, sir, I got to look at that that reel you sent me, and I I am disappointed because the proper answer to that is the Ink and Paint Club. So why don't you do right, like the other guys do? Boom, 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 boom. Why don't you do like the other guys to get out of here and bring me some money too? Griffin says, I was afraid my uh, gray wolf says, Griffin, I'm sorry, I was talking to an old friend, and gray wolf, I was afraid my vision was failing. VA sent me up with an optometrist here Wednesday. I dropped paperwork to the VA. Everything looks good. Should have my new glasses in a couple weeks. Excellent. New glasses are great. Be sure to get your prescription and your pupillary distance. I say this because while your, your glasses through the VA should be free if there's any justice in the world, because we should take care of our vets. Yes, I will be that cranky about that. Um, But Having that information means you can go to Zenny and order uh, backups. And they are wonderful to have. Very cheap. Uh, good to hear, Grey Wolf. And new glasses are the best. Ooh, I get to cook my gumbo recipe this weekend. Nice, Dan. I think that's nice. And um, I'm going to run a couple more ads because it, I am winding down. And then I'm going to close this up. I do want to let you guys know that with uh, me being essentially two weeks from cons, there may be unscheduled art times with Nick at literally any point because whenever I'm going to be drawing things and coloring things that I've already drawn for the convention, uh, you guys can get a sneak preview. So I want everything. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, I just looked looked down and I saw Joey with that smile, like the actual I'm I'm being mischievous smile, not the I'm terrifying you with Tim Curry. So I had to look to see if my phone was beeping. Anyway, and yes, to the assorted folks, you know who you are, who said me things, non-sequentor, during my streams, in the goal to mess with me, I know what you're doing. I am aware of this. And, yep, VA doesn't charge me anything, as well it should. Um, let me run a couple ads and I'll wrap up, because there are a couple people I want to make sure get talked about.
also want to put a shout out to an old friend of the channel and one of the great loves of my world. Hi, this is Kat. During the school year, I'm Mrs. Rothermel. But otherwise, I am Rothermel Art Goddess. Writing about my past and filming the present, I need you to join my Rothermel Art Army and to check out my merch on Zazzle.com. What started out as journal therapy is now four books I see and an Instagram account to blow off steam becoming a book with another to do the same. A short film for a friend. No, this is not the end. Peace, love, and let me art. Well, folks, we are entering a weekend that, you know, to me is exceptionally sacred. Uh, and to a lot of people it is. And however you feel religiously or not, this is a time of rebirth and renewal. And uh, I hope that all of you can spend some time with your family. Spend some time thinking about what matters and what good you can do in this world and what good is out there for you. Uh, it, the, it said, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And I think it's important that we, we remember that, that there are reasons to have joy even in times of sadness. And joy is different than happiness. Uh, I hope that given everything, sorry about that, everyone has been through in recent years and in recent months, that you can find the joy and find the hope to go through your own type of rebirth, to, to find out who you want to be, who you need to be to be you. And if I can do anything to help you on that journey, I consider myself fortunate. Uh, the people in my chat, most of whom I try to promote whenever I can, uh, are among some of the finest folks I've ever had the pri pri yeah, privilege to know. And I count myself incredibly fortunate. So with that, guys, and keeping in mind the, the good joy that he has risen. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to keep drawing, keep writing, and uh, keep making your stories happen because you can edit it. You can improve it, but you cannot edit a blank page. I love you guys, really, from the bottom of my heart, and you should too. I will be back at 8 p.m. tonight on the sister channel, the Historical Fencing Guild to talk about what I've been up to um, and what's, you know, what new acquisition is on the way. There may still be an opportunity for, for guildies to uh, take part in something. And so be sure to visit that. And then I will see you next Monday, which should be April 1st, for another thrilling episode of Nevermind the Furthermore. Toodles.